Hello everybody, it's me Scooter, and as you can see we're out here at the ring because this jackass requested to have an interview with me about a, uh, about a topic that I might not know about and I, I know everything that's going on with Alabama Backyard Wrestling. Yes, I get it, you're sad because we haven't had a match and I get that, but guess what? I'm here to hear what you guys say. They said it was pretty important, so I can't wait to hear what could possibly be more important than anything. Yeah, Toka, I agree. Can you not wait to hear what this candy ass is going to say? I can't wait. So, you said that you have been told by somebody. Yeah, that's right, Toka. He's been told by somebody that uh, a... Uh, Alabama Backyard Wrestling Superstar that used to wrestle here was going to make a triumphal return. But the, the thing you fail to realize is that ain't how this works. That's, that's right. You can't just... You, you don't understand. Once you leave Alabama Backyard Wrestling, little stuff animal, you, you just can't come back because if you get destroyed or tore up so bad that we can't repair you, you go to the burn pile. So... Please, by all means, tell me how a stuffed animal, no matter who it was, that either got cremated in the barn pile or cremated by the Inferno Bar, is possibly going to make a return. I don't, I don't see how this is even possible, how this is even going to happen. So you're, you're telling me that, that the stuffed animal, or whichever one it was that got destroyed, is going to have mystical powers and it's going to return to uh, Alabama Backyard Wrestling. You know, that's very positive thinking on your part. And I wish that I could believe that, but everybody knows that's been watching our channel that if you're a stuffed animal and you get demolished and destroyed and you can't perform, that we throw you in the burn pile. I mean, seriously, I could take your fucking head and pounce it up against that damn still cage right now and there would be nothing nobody could do about it well, well, well let's let's get one thing straight okay i said i know y'all all and he and he said that he swears that the person that's coming back is going to take the alabama backyard wrestling championship belt from me that's in my room that that ain't gonna happen little puppy dog or uh bear or whatever you want to call yourself that ain't gonna happen at all and I can tell you this whoever the superstar is that's gonna make a return visit which it ain't gonna be nobody because everybody knows that once you're gone you're gone I mean you can't come back from hell because that's where I send you well I mean that's positive thinking and all but I don't care who it is, you know. Well, I tell you what. How about you tell us who it is, or you tell me who it is, and I'll tell... You ready, Toad? He's about to tell us who's coming back. Ooh, I'm really scared. I mean, really. I mean, who could it possibly be? I mean, the Easter... You remember the slutty Easter Bunny? Um, We've had so many people, I can't hardly even remember them all. Listen, I get it. Some stuffed animals got fucking lucky as shit if they won against Triple X. Some of them didn't even make it one damn day. And I'm surprised that you're still hanging in there, just to be really quite frank about it. Well, let me tell you something. I don't even need this microphone because I'm going to talk loud enough for everybody to hear me. Listen, I don't care who's coming back because I don't believe... Anybody's coming back. And let me tell you one thing. Tuesday, we're all going to have a match. Okay? And this person and the Alabama Backyard Wrestling Belt will be put on the line Tuesday. Tuesday, we're going to have a match. And it's going to be, and the belt's going to be on the line. And the per last person standing on this trampoline is the winner. That means if your ass goes flying off, you're out. It's sort of like the Royal Rumble. 
but you don't have to get thrown over the ropes. Ropes. If you're on the trampoline. If you're on the trampoline and you get your candy ass stunned off here, then you're out. And we're going to do that Tuesday. And we're going to see who's going to win the belt. And let me tell you something. It's going to be anything goes. No hose bars. That means chairs, any kind of weapon you can think of, bring it. If you get thrown off that out of that ring, then you're out, no matter how you go. But let me tell you something, okay? I don't know who's coming, and I don't really care, as far as that matters. Who's coming? Out with it. Everybody at home wants to see it. Y'all want to know who's coming back, right? You want to know, Tote? You want to know who's coming back? See, even Tote wants to know who's coming back. Who is it? <laughs> oh my God! That's 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 funny. That's 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 really funny. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! You know what? You, you, you seriously deserve an Emmy for that performance or for that answer. Did y'all, did y'all hear who he said was coming back? He said, Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the one, that candy ass that got burnt in the last and final match, he said his candy ass is coming back to Alabama Backyard Wrestling. The thing is, he doesn't know when. Okay. Okay, you want to play this game? Okay, I can play this game. Okay. The day... I hear you, Tote. The day that Jesus Christ, that stuffed animal, who you call your Lord and Savior, who got their, his candy ass burnt. You see that? It's right there still on the ground. That got his ass burnt right there. The day he comes back to Alabama Backyard Wrestling, it's the day... Bray Wyatt comes back to WWE, and that ain't fucking happening. We all know it ain't going to happen. We know Jesus Christ ain't going to come back. And let me tell you something. If he does come back, I promise you, I, I promise you too, Tote, that I am going to torture him. So he thought the crucifixion was a nightmare. What we will do to him the next time he comes back will not even be pretty. That's right. That's right. You gotta believe it. So, the next time your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ comes and pays you a visit or comes and sees you in your dream or... That's that's right, Toad. I'm getting to that. Hang on. That's right. That's right. If he comes back, you tell him he will be making a terrible, terrible mistake. But, we all know that he ain't coming back. Don't you talk? He ain't coming back, is he? Talk. That's right. That's right. Tell him, talk. Tell him. That's right. Tell him. Come here, talk. Tell him what's going to happen to Jesus Christ's candy ass. If he comes back to Alabama Backyard Wrestling, tell him. Say, say nothing good is going to come of it, is it, Tote? Tell him, Tote. Tell him. Mark. Oh, oh, oh. That's right, Tote. Tell him, Tote. That's right. That's right, Jesus. You come back if you want to the Alabama Backyard Wrestling, and I promise you, I will give you so many diamond cutters. I will give you so many Stone Cold Stunners. I will do anything to you to make your life a living hell, and I shit you not, I will do it. And let me clarify something to you. You got lucky in the last match that we had with Triple X. Didn't he talk? Okay, Toke. Mommy loves you, too. 
But I'm telling you, the day Jesus Christ, that stuffed animal, comes back is the day Bray Wyatt joins back the WWE. I'm telling you, it ain't going to happen, and neither is this. So I don't know who you're getting your info from. I don't know who you're getting your visions from. But I promise you, Jesus Christ is not going to show up here after what he went through. And you all saw it. You all saw what happened to Jesus Christ. Here, let me remind you if you don't. You see that? You see that burn pile right there? That's where his ass got burnt. And I ain't damn sorry I did it either. Now, I get it, Tote. You, you believe he's coming back? I don't. So, oh, he is, huh? You, you hear that? He said that at the end of some time, the, the end of September or beginning of October, guys, is going to arise from this trampoline. He's going to come out from the ground and rise through the trampoline and be laying on the trampoline. And that's when he supposedly said he's going to be resurrected. You, you seriously buy this baloney talk? I don't buy it. I don't. Do you? I don't either. You think Molly does? No. I mean, I mean, you're hearing it from the, the doggy's mouth. He's not even buying this Jesus coming back. I mean, did you not see? Did you not watch the video of what we did to Jesus Christ? You know, when, when, when we did that, when I burnt his carcass up, it was the funnest thing I ever did. And let me tell you something. Come Tuesday, and our anything goes, the last man on the trampoline or ring, last standing, is going to be the winner. So, so whoa, whoa, whoa. you want to make it where whoever feet touches the ground first wins? What do you think, Toke? You, you think we should change the rules to whoever touches the ground first wins? You think we should do that? Okay, Toke. Okay. Okay. That's what we're going to do, Candy Ass. Yeah. Whose ever feet touch the ground first is the winner. <laughs> really? You think Jesus Christ is just going to pop up out of blues like that? Let, let, me, let me tell you something. He had his chance. He had his chance to be an Alabama backyard wrestler. But you know what? He did to be a champion. You know what he didn't do? He didn't do what it took to win the belt like Triple X does. Exactly, Toke. Tell him. He wouldn't do whatever it takes to win the belt. That's what Triple X does. He does whatever it takes. He does stuff to the stuff animals to win. And he does it by any means necessary well you know I don't know how to feel about that whole Jesus thing you know they said in the Bible he came back from the dead but you know that happened over two billion gazillion years ago hell for all I know Jesus was probably driving around on a dinosaur Really? Well, I tell you what, Mr. Bear, all I can say is, good luck to you at the pay-per-view because you're going to fucking need it.
That's all it's gonna take is one stunner and your ass is gonna be gone. How did you like that diamond cutter? Oh, I'm sorry. A.K.A. RKO. Hmm. Where's your Jesus at now, huh? Where's he at now? Where's he at, Toke? Like I said, the day he comes back is the day Bray Wyatt returns to WWE. Jesus Christ ain't coming. And Bray Wyatt ain't coming back to WWE. <clears throat> You like that, too? You like that? Okay, I'll give you one of those. This is what you want, too? Huh? This is what you want? Okay. You got it, Tote. This one's for you, buddy. You love your mommy? Mommy loves you, don't worry. She loves you, Tote. <laughs> Tell Jesus, if he comes back, he's seriously, sadly, gonna be mistaken if he thinks he's taking my belt back from me. <laughs> And everybody, on that bombshell, come Tuesday, I will defend my belt, and I will still be your Alabama Backyard Wrestling Champion. <laughs>